Hey, what's in the guys? Brad here. So we are back with another PvP video, literally 10 seconds after recording the last one. And we're using a very similar deck. We're going in with the new Cyber Angel deck because Master of Rights does help out that deck quite a bit. And we have Petit Angel now free from the ban list. So we can go in and um, at least try them out because it's been, I want to say two years since we've actually played with the deck. And as you can see from the list below and from our hand, we have Gishki Chain, which is a monster you don't really want to see. Or, you don't really want to see Merciful either, twice. Not not both times in one hand, you don't want it, but I guess it's better than drawing into it. So, really, we opened pretty poorly. And we really need this Gishki Chain to give us... Okay, gave us a Ben 10. Thank God. Because that's the one we really, really need. So, gave us a Ben 10, and we can return. Like, we know what we're going to draw into as well. That's the thing. Oh, okay. So, that could be, this could be Gravekeepers. This could be a, a, a Gravekeeper spy or something. So, we know with this, we draw into uh, another Edaton. Do we use Benten to search something out? I feel, I feel, I feel like we do. I feel like we go into, um... I feel like for the moment we do this, yeah. We summon up Ben 10. Not the most optimal play in the universe, but it's okay for the moment. Edithin going to give us some big boost to our monsters attack points. That's fine. This is a hope and pray that... Okay, that was 2,000. That's 18. Now Destiny Draw activates. Okay, so it was these magicians, dumb magicians with Destiny Draw. Gonna join to Lava Golem or something stupid. But we're in an okay-ish spot. And I say okay-ish because we know our next card is going to be, I believe, Petit Angel. I think I put that one back first. Just double checking through the list if it will let me get there. Chocolate Magician Girl, summoning her out, discarding the hard. Okay, it's a pretty dead draw, honestly. That's 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 fine for a dead draw. Um getting into Edithon, okay. So this worked out a bit better than expected. So Edithon gonna use you as a tribute. To draw two, return Merciful back to the deck. That's fine. Edison's going to activate. Boost up our Dakini by our Dakini, our Ben 10 to 38. That's pretty beefy. So now we can theoretically do F all because. <laughs> actually, no, actually, I think we might be good. Because um, if we almost summon Senju, then like we run into the risk of there being a. Ooh, ah, uh, it's a toughie. It is, it's a real toughie. Because, depending on what we do here, like, he's got in his graveyard a Mahard, which obviously the second we attack into our chocolate, that gets put down to 15, 19. 19, it's going to die to that. But then we can attack for 200 with that, and we might be able to cheese it. I'm going to try and cheese it. See what happens. Chocolate's effect activates. Summoning out the Mahard. Sure. Attack into the chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I will take that, you know. Suboptimal Cyber Angel plays for our first go round, but we managed to pull out the win because the opponent was kind of stupid. So, yeah, on to the next duel. Okay. Next up, we have. Once it loads, you know, come on, Konami. We have this guy from Taiwan, Plat Rank 1. He's been, you know, in Legend. The last two seasons, not bad. Dr. Velian Crowler, so most likely Ancient Gears, which I think the matchup isn't very good with this deck, uh, so that's kind of a shame, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. We opened up fairly meh. It's not like amazing. Going for the T set and nothing else. We have nothing to destroy the back row, which is really annoying, but we did get Edithon, which does give us some leeway. Assuming that Chain gives us a Ben 10. Thank God. Loving these uh, these draws. So Ben 10 coming out. We've now got the combo on board. So we can just... doesn't matter what we do because we're not going to use that exact same uh, layout. We can then use... Ooh, no. We should use Sprite's Blessing for the moment. We're going to save the ritual uh, Machine Ritual Angel thing to summon out Edithon. Yep, using the Ben 10 so we get both the searches. 
And we can go to Dakini. Really, really nice and easily. So summoning our Ben 10. Eaton's effect activates. Or summon our Eaton, sorry. Ben 10 going to get us access to... Who do we want? Like, Petite Angel's probably like a good shout for next turn. Because that at least gets the Cyber Angel. But that back row is really kind of annoying me. At the same time, we did this before, and it didn't go down so well. So, huh. Let's go for... Oh, actually, no, we might be able to choose. Okay, right. Let's go for Edithon. And that's then going to get us access to Absolute Ritual. So now, we can go... Machine Angel Ritual, and summon our Dakini using you and the one in our hand. Because that's then going to make Dakini very, very, very big. It's 37. And, you know, Edison's going to uh, get a thing. Dakini's going to have to make him more make Crowl and get rid of that face down. Which is a Vendred Hound Horde. Okay, so this could be death. It's not. So whatever Vendor's had face down, I don't know. But that was also a very, very easy duel. Like, for some reason, our Cyber Angel matchups are very, very easy compared to our, um, our Darmage matchups, which is fine. It's okay. We're only two duels into the video. So let's see. Already five victories for this season. Let's go and check out his deck real quick. So his back row was literally like one of the spells, it had to be one of the ritual spells. Okay. So, nothing to worry about there. Okay, that was, that was okay. One of those decks I can't build because I didn't go into the box. Um, if you saw my sale stream yesterday, or the other day, we got, um, we got a Vendred Slayer, our first one. So, I mean, we kind of have something there, but not enough. Sartorius Kumar, which has the skill changed if he's using Master of Destiny, which would be interesting to see, because I haven't seen how good it is. Win and we'll gain a rank, we'll go up into Platinum 5, I think. So hopefully we do this. Master Destiny requires 7 cards. We actually... Eh, that's fairly okay. Yeah, we're at least going to be able to end on something pretty big. So summoning out Edithon using Ben 10. I think, actually, we might not be able to. Ooh, actually. Yeah, Edithon coming out. Uh, Edithon's effect and then Ben 10's effect as well. Going to get us access to... Um, another card, so let's go for Petit Angel, because then we can actually, yeah, so we can actually go into a level 8, that's fine. Um, and then we want to go for uh, Absolute Ritual, because that's the only one we can kind of use, because obviously our normal one's in the graveyard where we want it. Petit Angel going to get us access to our Azana. Yeah, because we can put Azana in defense mode and call it a day. And that's actually like not a bad ending board for Cyber Angels, really, turn 1. Because then you at least have some form of uh, protection in the graveyard. And you have a fairly big defensive wall on board. With 36 defense. And you have a targeting removal card. So, yeah. Not too bad. Not the best ending board for any deck any, any like at all. But, uh, let's see. Activating Cup of Ace. That's going to immediately result in a draw 2. Which is stupid that you open the pot of greed that's kind of crazy another cup of ace two pot of greeds turn one that's two draws i think you only get three i think or maybe it's only two so maybe you've now used all your luck bm4 blast spider okay and setting one in the back row bm4 is going to blow itself up and try and blow up you and then azana's gonna activate blowing up the back row Oh, wait, yeah, returns here on his deck, so returning back the uh, Ben 10 to blow up you. And then Machine Angel Ritual activates and protects itself. So now you have to use Desperado. Obviously, Desperado's going to come out and, um... Like, this deck is stupid. Still, you know, with, with still having... The amount of things it has on it. Getting two pops. Is stupid. That is the most stupid card in the game. It's always a guaranteed pop. 
I really hate it. So let's see what we draw into. We drew into Sprite's Blessing, which honestly, with the Cosmic in the face down, it does nothing. And we know that face down is going to be another counter trap. It's going to be another uh, rebirth of Parshav. So it's not a very, uh, not a very good looking outcome for the Cyber Angels deck. That really sucks. That really does suck. Again, BM4 Blast Spider, we'll just... We'll let Sartorius go, he doesn't need to blow anything up, he can just attack in for game. Surely at this point he knows he has it, because, you know... Otherwise we'd have a Drowning, but Drowning could then be Parshaft, so... Nothing to worry about there. From the Sartorius, we didn't get our rank up, unfortunately, but we're in Platinum, so, you know, it's whatever. That's fine. Now, final duel of the video, let's go in and see what we can do, because, uh... Hopefully, like the Dark Magician one... We'll get four win or three wins, one loss. That'd be pretty cool. If we ended on a 50% win loss ratio, that'll be um Actually that'll be fairly representative of this deck. You know, that'll be fairly representative of what I experienced with the deck in King of Games last season. As well as now in this season, Plat 2 from Hungary. Maybe we have a chance here. Yami Yugi. So I'm expecting like a life boost alpha or a Destiny Draw shenanigans or sorcery conduit or something. That'd be pretty cool. Obviously it's platinum, so we can win again and gain a rank. That's that's fairly good. Uh, 30, <laughs> what was I expecting, 30 cards, 30 card deck, what are you doing, like, that's, that's stupid, activates grass looks greener, sends all these light spawns to the graveyard, sure, okay, right, so, do we get anything good, no, we didn't, and we literally cannot summon anything, <laughs> We need to wait for Yugi to deal us some damage uh, and before we can do anything because we didn't draw into Cosmics or the one that can draw us two, which already people are like, do we want to run two or just run one? And I think you do need two because um, clearly the deck still does have some consistency issues and obviously I'm not running a very optimal version of the deck, but once we do get access to the new cards coming in November, that's going to make things a lot better for Cyber Angels, especially with the uh, Spell Card and with Bond, a Dark Magician 30 card deck. With Red Eyes. The Summon Cosmo Brain. Okay. Well then. That was not what I expected to go against on this lovely Friday morning. Sunning out the Dark Magician from the deck. Did not expect that. Okay. Well. Fair game to this guy, he, um, he's playing, um, he, he managed to open the one card that could win him the duel. I actually want to see his deck before we end this off, because that was, uh, that was a bit of a yikes, wasn't it? Uh, let's see. Let's see what you've got for us, Yugi. Plat, rank four still. Oof, it's not, it's not the best in the world. Let's see, Creo, what did you have? Blimey. Running Master Magicians with Ron and Red, with Ron and Red Eye Slash Dragon in the extra deck. What the hell? So, literally, he could have had a Sphere Curry Bow, which would have been fine. He opened up his one R Cosmo Brain. In 30 cards, wait. No, that's the one that, that's the one that randomly adds a thing, not, not even the one that starts him off with a... Wow. He had quite a, he had quite a bit, honestly, you know, like, in terms of normal summons, he had Red Eyes, and that was about it. Everything else was specialing off of Cosmo Brain, or Ancient Rules. Okay, not not the best, honestly. Not the best list, we just got kind of tilted in that one. And that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is the deck we use, of course, it's been down below the entire time. Not an optimal build whatsoever. If I was wanted to change it, it would be to replace a Gishki chain with a, another uh, Senju. Obviously, Gishki has the advantage of being able to potentially join to a ritual spell card, which Senju doesn't. If or when we get Manju in the game, that's going to be a mandatory 3 off because that can search out any of your... Uh, Ritual Monsters, all your spell cards, that's like a, an enhanced version of Senju, that'd be pretty cool. And of course, new support for Cyber Angels later this month is going to help out quite a bit, so we'll probably revisit the deck later in the month as well when we do get the Alluring X event back, so look forward to that. Anyway, thanks for watching, I'll see you all in the next Dawn's video. See you then. I know.